Printable Science presents EMT Pipe Profiles. Hi, just before I get started, I wanted to share with you the current status of uh, Printable Science. Although I made my first YouTube video about four years ago, it's only for the last couple of months I've been doing this seriously, because I finally woke up to the fact that everyone's making millions of dollars making YouTube content, except me. So I've made a few videos, and at this point, I like only have 50 subscribers and my most popular video has 700 views. This is insane. The internet must be doing something wrong. So I poked around the internet and finally decided to hire a consulting firm so they could tell me what the problem was. You know, maybe find out if YouTube was targeting me specifically to prevent my videos from becoming popular or something like that. So. They showed up, and there's two of them, a young woman named Isabella and a young man named Oliver, and oh man, they sure make people young these days. I'm pretty sure this Oliver guy hasn't even started shaving yet, and anyway, that's not the point. They looked at all my videos, or let me put it this way, they said they looked at all my videos, and then I had to take them out to lunch on my dime to hear what they had to say, and this is it. They said I'm boring. I paid hundreds of dollars to have two young punks tell me that I should be funnier because I'm boring. Uh, I, I don't know if I can turn off being boring just like flicking a switch, but I guess I'll have to try. So think of this video as the last boring video you'll get from me. Okay. So recently, Printable Science provided pipe profiles for polyvinyl chloride piping, or PVC, and you can check out that video if you like using the link up here. As I explained in that video, PVC pipe is very popular among do-it-yourselfers and hobby builders because it's cheap and it's easy to cut. But the better choice for 3D printer projects is something called EMT or electrical mechanical tubing. And you should be able to find it pretty easily in the electrical section of your big box hardware store. It's about the same price as PVC, but it's metal. And as a consequence, it's thinner and stronger. It weighs more than PVC tubing, and it's a little harder to cut than PVC, but the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. You know, one of the cool features of EMT is that it's more naturally telescoping. In other words, a half-inch diameter pipe fits neatly in a three-quarter inch pipe, and a three-quarter inch pipe slides into a one-inch pipe. With PVC, you need a one-inch pipe to accommodate uh, a half-inch pipe, and uh, even so, there's still a lot of space between the pipe walls. Well, you might well ask, if EMT is so great, why isn't it as popular as PVC for home projects? The answer is simple. PVC has loads of fittings, like elbows and T-joints and takeoffs of varying angles, so you can fabricate some pretty fancy things with just a bit of PVC solvent, some pipe, and some fittings. But the thing is, with a 3D printer, Fittings are not a problem, and you can simply print off whatever fitting you need to connect the pipe in the way you want. So, as I talked about in our PVC profile video, we think here at Printable Science PVC and EMT, but we want to make sure that as much as possible, our projects can be printed and assembled by someone who only has a 3D printer and a box of filament. So, with that in mind, we present here EMT pipe profiles for the most common and easily obtainable EMT sizes. So, if you really only want to use your 3D printer to complete your projects, you can. Now, if you're wedded to PVC and you want to use it rather than EMT, or print your own tubing and you're a Printable Science Patreon supporter, you should check out on how you can get STL files for PVC for any of our projects that require tubing. Of course, this video is for those of you who don't want to use EMT or PVC for that matter. Those of you who want to print off every component of your project on a 3D printer. So moving on, EMT is available in a variety of diameters in one quarter increments, from half an inch to four inches, although there is no one and three quarter, three and a quarter, or three and a half inch diameters. Modeling EMT is straightforward, it's just a cylinder subtracted from a larger diameter cylinder, and in creating these files, we've used the published standards for what the actual dimensions for these pipes are. Like PVC, EMT is sold in 10-foot lengths, but we won't be using 10-foot lengths of tubing in any of our projects anytime soon. On the other hand, Printable Science likes to restrict itself to a 90 cubic millimeter build volume, 
and will undoubtedly be needing lengths greater than 90 millimeters. So if you've got a small printer and you want to print every single part, then you're going to need a way to fasten smaller lengths of tubing together to produce longer runs. Now, we provided both interior and exterior couplers. Uh, interior if you need to keep the external diameter constant and uh, uh, for the length of the tube, and an exterior coupler if you need to keep the internal diameter constant. We can see here with this half inch piece of pipe we've got the interior plug that slips in there like that and can be glued in place, or the sleeve that can be stuck on the top on the outside and uh, it glued in place. So uh, that only, uh, and if we take our uh, print of a uh, half inch EMT uh, pipe uh, printed on our uh, 3D printer, then you can see it all fits together as well and it can all be glued in place. We've provided STL files for the six most used EMT diameters as well as uh, the exterior sleeves and interior plugs. Now all pipe and coupler lengths are 100 millimeters long in the STL files and you'll probably want to adjust those heights when you're completing a project. As you probably know, slicers make it simple to scale the dimensions of your objects, so it'll be a simple matter to dial in the height you want. This only applies to the Z or Z dimension though. Doubling the X and Y size of a half inch pipe section doesn't give you a one inch PVC pipe profile. The specifications for PVC and EMT pipe are not linear like that. You can only safely scale the height. Now, we printed these test sections in PLA with a 20% infill, three bottom and top layers, two perimeters, and a 0.2 millimeter layer height. And we strongly suggest you print off a test of the pipe uh, EMT diameters you're working with and do some test fitting. Far better to discover your tolerances are out of whack on a small test print than have your printer grind away for a couple of days spinning out a whole bed of parts that are useless. Hey, we hope our EMT pipe sections are useful to you and you find them helpful for prototyping or completing your 3D printed projects. Thanks for watching, and won't you hope by becoming an important part of the Printable Science family and making this channel more valuable and successful. You can help us out by taking the time to watch this video in its entirety, no matter how boring it is, and other Printable Science videos as well, while perhaps your 3D printer is printing off this project. You can leave comments and questions below. That will help us to continue to create useful videos and other files that are printer ready and help you to maximize the power and utility of your 3D printer. Your feedback is very important. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you have just a moment, won't you show your support by clicking the subscribe button below. If you want to make sure you don't miss our upcoming videos on 3D printing, you'll want to click on the notify bell as well. And please, consider supporting Printable Science on Patreon using the link supplied below. Being a Patreon supporter provides you with lots of extras and additional information, as well as going a long way to defray the cost of making these files and videos. Down below, you'll also find a link where you can download a copy of the STL files from Thingiverse, so that you can print your own EMT pipe sections and couplers. And as always, you can download a copy of the STL files for this and other projects directly from our website. The latest files and a discussion board on the use of EMT in 3D projects are available at the printablescience.com website, where all the science that fits, we print.